Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to learn how to make a fidget spinner. We're going to start off with putting the base shape which is a triangle right about there and let's just give it no colors right now. We don't need anything. Oops. Like that. Then we're going to create a circle which is roughly six sevenths the size about yay big. We're going to add some anchor points by going to path, add anchor points. And once again, to path, add anchor points. We're going to use these as reference points in just a moment. Let's move the circle down to this corner here and move it out to here as well too. Then let's zoom into here. We'll use a pen tool and we'll find the anchor points that we just created, one of them right there and the midpoint of this path and we're going to click and hold until we have a nice straight line and just like right there and find the equivalent point on the path here perfect then we're just going to close the shape yay and we're good to go then we select all our shapes Let's press Control C, Control Shift V, and paste in place, and we're going to rotate this by 120. Make sure it intersects with this point. Again, we're going to do Control Shift, uh, Control C, Control Shift V, and rotate this by another 120. And don't worry about all the extra shapes. Um, that'll that will be dealt with in a moment. Now that we have this base shape, we're just going to select everything. We're going to copy it and create a new layer. And inside the layer, we're just going to place, paste it in place. Now, in this new layer, we're going to select all of our shapes. We're going to unite them with the Pathfinder. And if you have some extra points right here, just um, feel free to delete them. Great. Now that we have our shape, we're going to give it a color. I think a, a red will do today. And to give it a 3D effect, we're going to give it a stroke that's a bit darker than the color we chose. Oops. Sorry. Get to there. And we're going to give it kind of a thicker stroke, about so big. And now we have this kind of 3D effect. And then we're going to turn on our first layer where we have our reference material. And we're going to use the ellipse tool, make a perfect circle on the inside of here, about so big. And make sure that it's centered within the shape and also centered on top of the original circle, like that. We're going to give it a silver outside, silver stroke. And it's going to be kind of thin, so maybe five or Four should do it. And the inside, we're going to make it black. So big. Perfect. Then we're going to copy this shape and we're going to paste it in place. And we're going to use the scale tool and make it about that big. Then we're going to give the stroke about a 10 or so. And this is going to be the interior of the hole. So the fill, we're going to give it white as the background. Now you kind of see the effect. The last little bit is we're going to add a kind of 3D effect to this. And what we're going to do is we're going to select a point right about here, then to middle, and we're going to drag that so it follows the outline of the shape. And do the same on this side so it intersects like that. Yay. Get rid of about so perfect. We're going to give that a darker color, mm, maybe too dark there, slightly darker color. Good. Then we're going to use the width tool over here. We're going to make the inside a bit thicker, and the corners we're going to pinch them out like this. And the 
let's actually make this a bit thinner, about yay big. Perfect. And if we zoom out, that kind of gives the impression of depth in here. So now that we have that, we're going to select this shape. We're going to move it down to the middle. Make sure it's in the center of your fidget spinner, roughly. And we're going to give it the same properties as that, but with a thinner bevel, thinner stroke, so maybe, maybe two. That'll do it. So that's the center of our toy. Then the last little bit, actually, I'm feeling like this is a bit too thick. Let's take this down a tiny notch. Yeah. better. Okay. And the last little bit is we're going to choose this shape, this, and this one. We're going to copy it. And we're going to paste it over here. And we're going to make sure that's centered within this point, within that circle. Then we're going to rotate it by 120 degrees. And copy it to this point and do the exact same thing and make sure it intersects. And the last little bit is to rotate it by another 120 degrees. And that's how you get a 3D fidget spinner. I hope you enjoyed that. If you want some more, please subscribe and have a great day.